What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, the truth hurts, and that's what I'm going to speak in this video. Alex Ariza just did an interview with Fight Hype, shout out to them, and he broke it down why the Mayweather Pacquiao fight hasn't happened thus far. And I want to piggyback off it, give you my honest thoughts. Like, a lot of people ask me still about it. Now, first of all, Mayweather Pacquiao, I would still watch it. I think both fighters. Their names are synonymous with each other, similar to Diego Corrales and Castillo, similar to Arturo Ward, Arturo Gatti and uh, Mickey Ward, but in a bad way, because those guys that I just named have actually given us great fights and fought each other. Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, their names are synonymous, and the motherfuckers have never even fought, you know what I'm saying? So, that's the big difference. Now... In my honest to God opinion, I think everybody's to blame. Everybody has played some level of a role in why this fight hasn't happened. Mayweather, Pacquiao, and Bob Arum. And I think those are the prime forces that have prevented this fight. Um, and to a degree, the media, you know what I'm saying? The media, like, you know what I mean? They spew things and stuff like that. And further add fuel to the fire, and it just it's a you know I mean it's a snowball effect from there. So I'm gonna break it down. Um, Alex Ariza basically said Bob Arum is the main reason this fight hasn't happened, and I wholeheartedly agree. He is the main reason. I just said he's not the only reason, but he is the main reason. And I was actually working on a video. Um, God, I want to say a year and a half ago, and I still have it in the crates. I just got busy, started blowing up, getting more subscribers, so I didn't even entertain that. But you guys are going to force me. It's a compilation of just a ton of stuff. I actually followed this Mayweather Pacquiao this shit often. And the biggest thing that I found, like I said, is unreleased. I still have it on deck. Don't force my hand. Don't force me to release this shit. You know what I mean? Um, and finish it. You know what I mean? Because it's not 100% finished. Um... But the biggest thing I found was Bob Arum was the main interference why the fight hasn't happened. Straight up. You know what I mean? Again, there's things Mayweather did wrong and there's things that Pacquiao did wrong. So let's start with let's let's start with Pacquiao. Pacquiao to me, I think he wants to fight Mayweather. I think he's a warrior. Um and there are some things that he did wrong. Like when Floyd called you and offered you forty million dollars and you kinda of passed the phone off. Like, why? You know what I'm saying? That's the closest you came to getting the fight you want. That's not necessarily the best way to handle it. Even if that's that's part of negotiating. You know what I mean? Even if you don't like the first offer, you don't pass the phone off to Michael Kantz or whoever. And Alex Ariza said he was there for that. And he, he stated he was there for that. And that's not the way you handle business. You know what I mean? I sell things on Craigslist, for example. And someone hits me up and they're like, oh, will you take $100 for this boombox? And I'm like, nah. So they don't just give up. A lot of people are like, oh, what if I give you 120? Okay, that's that's barter. You know what I mean? Now we have a deal. I'll take the 120 for it. So Pacquiao, I think that was dumb. Refusal of, of the blood tests and stuff initially when the first fight. That's all you had to do. Blood tests. You know what I mean? Um, let's talk about Mayweather. Now, Mayweather does a lot wrong when it comes to interviewing. I think... If you're not going to fight the motherfucker, shut the fuck up. Like, don't, like, just don't bring him up. Don't talk about it. Like, avoid the question. But Mayweather, being his own boss, we know he's the richest ever or whatever, richest athlete. He tends to go against the grain. And it's like he wants to rub it in, in the fan's face. And he wants to piss people off with his statements. And I get it. You got to like that. You don't, you don't answer to anyone. Your own, you're your own boss. But it gets kind of fucking annoying, you know what I mean? It gets annoying because um, even the people that are backing you saying, oh, he'll beat Pacquiao, he has the skills, you put him in a, in a hard position, a hard spot, because it looks like, especially to the casual, it looks like you don't want to fight. You know what I mean? Not even just to casual, just based on your responses, you, you, you have these ridiculous demands all of a sudden now. Oh, he has to sign the TMT. He has to do everything, jump through all these hoops and do a hell of shit 
that nobody else has had to do. Victor Ortiz didn't have to do. Robert Guerrero didn't have to do yet. Manny Pacquiao, if he wants to fight you, even though it's the most lucrative fight of both of y'all careers, he has to do this. Like, you know what I mean? Why didn't Victor Ortiz have to sign the TMT to get the fight? Why didn't Canelo have to sign the TMT to get the fight? But Manny Pacquiao does. So I get that, where the fans are coming from with that. And it is an irritating situation because based on that, it's a, you make yourself an easy target. You put the bullseye on your back like you don't want the fight based on what you're saying. And I honestly think the the main reason, the main culprit in this whole thing is Bob Arum. I think that discord, um, the fact that Mayweather has been on record saying time and time again, Bob Arum owes him money. He's a shady businessman. Um, he owes him for the Zab Judah fight and I think the Baldemir fight or whatever else. And he doesn't want to do business with him. I genuinely think that is true. You know what I mean? But it's just the way Mayweather goes about it. The way he answers questions would lead you to believe that it's something else. Like he, like Bob Arum's, he's on um, interview saying Mayweather's afraid to take a loss. He hates fighting Southpaws. That's the reason he doesn't want to fight. Yet Mayweather is not good. It, it the the weirdest thing to me. Mayweather is by far one of the best, if not the best, defensive fighter in boxing. You know what I mean? Boxing history. He's one of them. He's very defensive-minded, um, and he has an awesome defense that nobody's been able to break the May Vinci code, right? Yet, in his personal life, he is probably the worst at defending himself, which is very ironic to me because... How can you be this defensive wizard in ring and when it comes to outside of the ring, let's say Rachel Nichols interviewing you and she's grilling you. She's like really trying to make you look bad with these Ray Rice comments and stuff like that. Um, 50 Cent, he's getting at you. You know what I mean? He's, he's making fans laugh and say you can't read and Harry Potter and all kinds of stuff. Uh, Miss Jackson, she's conniving. She's after your money. Blah, blah, blah. Bob Arum. He's bad-mouthing you. He's saying you don't want the fight. You're afraid of a loss. You're afraid of Southpaws. And Mayweather is perhaps one of the worst with defending himself in personal attacks. Like, you know what I mean? In personal life. Not in the ring. And I find that highly funny. I think it's crazy that he could be so good defensively in the ring. But um, kind of feeble when it comes to defending himself. Like, and answering questions and stuff in, in front of the media. It's like, why would you... He, I really feel Floyd Mayweather sets himself up for failure, for fans to hate him. I don't know if he's trying to live this bad guy, villain shit. Um, but just the way he answers questions is, is horrible. Like He says things that are a lot uh, highly contradictory and just different things like that. And it, it makes it hard for fans to try to rebuke, even though I really don't feel he's afraid of Manny Pacquiao or he's afraid of a Southpaw or whatever. Like Bob Arum's making it out to be. I don't think that's the reason the fight hasn't happened or the main reason or whatever. Um, yet, he doesn't really give you a leg to stand on based on how he replies to different things. Um, a lot of people call Alex Ariza a snake, saying he's a bitch, he's a snake, he can't be trusted. It's all bandwagon stuff. Mayweather fans who seen Alex Ariza with Pacquiao, y'all called him a cheat, said he was a ped distributor and he was cheating, making magical shakes. Now he signed the TMT and Van Moose, all that's washed up and out the window. Same thing the other way. The diehard Pactards, when Alex Ariza was in camp, they were like, oh, Alex is the best strength and conditioning coach ever. And then all of a sudden, he switches to Robert Garcia. Now he's the foe because Brandon Rios is using him to fight Pacquiao, your beloved. So he's a bitch. He's a traitor. Now he's going on even deeper on the enemy territory to signing a two-year agreement or whatever with Mayweather to stretch him or work him out or whatever, no homo. And now he's a snake. He can't be trusted. So it works both ways. Boxing fans are fickle. We know that. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But um, the real reason that I really believe Alex Ariza a lot of things he's saying. I've interviewed the dude. He, he's he's a solid dude. He's very um, forthcoming and down to earth. You know what I mean? 
Um, he told me a lot and he was candid. Like, for example, when I interviewed him, he was with the Robert Garcia camp. This was well, well before he was released by Robert Garcia in that gym. Well before that. And I asked him about the Maidana fight. He was very open with it. I asked him about Floyd Mayweather. He didn't say anything bad. You can go back. I'll put the link in the description. Go back. Listen to my interview with him. He wasn't saying. He said, I don't see anyone beating Mayweather. And he clearly could have been like, I'm Team Maidana. It's Chino all the way. And just and rode that wave. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't. He was open. He said Amir Khan versus Mayweather could be a good fight. And I talked to him off air too. And um, even after some of his fights, you know what I mean? I just didn't release it. And he, he's a down-to-earth dude. He's pretty forthcoming. And whether you think he's a cheat or a liar or whatever, I mean, it's different when you when you actually know somebody. Um, he's a down-to-earth dude. He's, he's straight up. And to me, it sounds believable, the stuff he says about Bob Arum. Like, I, I really picture it. And like I said, I'll, I'll work on that video if, if, you know what I mean, if I get enough um, comments or whatever. Um, the other thing with Alex Ariza is it'd be one thing if he just all of a sudden was saying it out of the blue. Like if he just starts saying a bunch of shit to badmouth. He didn't badmouth Manny in this fight hype interview. He didn't. You know what I'm saying? He said Manny wants to fight, but it's Bob Arum. Bob Arum, Bob Arum. So when someone shows me, like some some of the fans, they get on here when I make a video, they're like, oh, you're, you're pro-gay weather. To me... You're already showing a level of bias because you're calling him a name. You know what I mean? When I do videos, I don't call... Um, you guys say I hate Amir Khan. You guys say I hate Manny Pacquiao. You say I hate Danny Garcia. Like, I've showed plenty of love to all of those fighters. Yet, you guys have selective hearing. You know what I'm saying? And I don't call them names and stuff. You know what I mean? I don't like call them like Royd Runner and, and Pussy Owl. Like, I call them Manny Pacquiao. I don't do all that. So... The fact that Alex Ariza is being objective and in, in showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly makes it more believable. If he said nothing but bad things about Alex or, or excuse me about Manny Pacquiao, I'd be like, okay, he signed to TMT now. Maybe that's why he's, he's going to be biased. But when he was with Garcia in the interview with me, he didn't say bad stuff about the opposition. You know what I mean? Um, when he was with TMT now, he's not saying stuff about Manny, he's talking about Bob Arum, and I really think that is the, the man behind why this fight hasn't happened, the biggest reason, the biggest hurdle, there have been other little hurdles, but I think the biggest hurdle is Bob Arum, they, he said they're waiting um, to hear from Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys to make the Mayweather Pacquiao fight in that stadium, the AT&T uh, stadium, they're talking about making an outdoor stadium in las vegas that i have people in las vegas you know what i mean dante boxing nation he's in vegas i got plenty of friends in vegas you know what i mean bitches i used to fuck and all kinds of stuff where's this stadium where is it you know what i'm saying like i i want to know where this is at because this was years ago and i haven't even heard anything about this outdoor stadium and i'm on the west coast i'm a west coast dude right by vegas um so I really think Bob Arum, I think Alex Ariza, like I said, what, he, what he's saying was true. And the other thing that adds kind of um, leverage to Alex Ariza's argument is he said stuff like this when he was with Pacquiao, which made it him like kind of like a target because he was outing and he was saying this stuff and open when he was with Pacquiao, when he was with Robert Garcia. So some of you guys are saying he's a snake and he's only doing it because he's with TMT. You got to do the history. You, you know what I'm saying? You ain't been doing the education, as Kanye West says. Do the research. Watch the old interviews. He was saying a lot of the same stuff about Bob Arum wants things his way. He's not going to do this and that. Da, 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 da. So that's ultimately ego under 15 minutes uncut. Why I think the Mayweather Pacquiao fight hasn't happened. As you could see in this video, it is Mayweather. Part of it is Mayweather. Part of it is Pacquiao, but the biggest reason is Bob Arum, and I really firmly believe that for all the reasons I provided. Make sure you check the links in the description. You know what I mean? I got some uh, references, and you can watch the Alex Ariza interview. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. 
Till next video, it's Ego signing off.